today's tutorial, we will focus on how to run or add multiple sites in the same Google Ad Manager account. I also received a question about what if I have two sites, for example, and I also have two different AdSense accounts, but I want to run both of these sites in the same GAN account. We are going to tackle all of these in this tutorial. Let's first discuss the very basics. What is AdSense and how is it different from Google Ad Manager? AdSense is an ad network. It has its own pool of advertisers. So you generate the tags from there or you link it with Google Ad Manager in order to serve the ads and generate money and revenue from your traffic. Google Ad Manager, on the other hand, is an ad server, meaning it's a tool that you can use to target the ads to the right audience, serve it at the right time. In short, it's a tool that allows you to control where, when, and how to serve the ads. And you can acquire a Google Ad Manager account for free for as long as you have an active AdSense account. Make sure you check out my other video on how to own or create a Google Ad Manager account and the link is right here. Now, for example, you have an AdSense account, you have more than one website. Before you can run AdSense demand or advertisers, you need to have the site approved first. So you go to sites, click add site and put in the URL of your site. Click next. The next thing you need to do here is to deploy this code into the header section of the site. And this is how AdSense can verify ownership of the website. So go ahead and copy this and deploy. Once that's done, click Submit. Now it can take a few days up to two weeks for the approval process, but it's important that you don't remove the tag from the site so the process or the approval process is not delayed. If you have subdomains as well, you can add it here. Once the site is approved, you will get a notification via email and you will also see it in the user interface when you go to Sites Overview and it should show as ready. So now the question is, what if I wanted to run in the same AdSense account and you know I already have this domain approved here on this account, but I want it to run in here. If that's the case, all you need to do is just add it here as normal. So even if it's already approved in another or a different AdSense account and you want it to also run in this account, you can just go ahead and add it here. And it will undergo the same approval process as normal. Now, how about in Ad Manager? Do you need to do an approval process here as well? Anything special? The answer is no. But there are two options you can run AdSense on Ad Manager. One is if you want it to run on dynamic allocation, and when you create an ad unit, for example, and you have this option ticked, then this will run the AdSense account that's linked or that was used to set up the ad manager account. So you need to uncheck this if the ad unit you're trying to create here is not going to run the AdSense account that was mapped with this ad manager account. What you need to do instead is go to admin and go to linked accounts. Create a new AdSense link. Enter the web property code here, which is basically your AdSense account ID or pub ID. Next, enter any display name that you wish. It has to be something descriptive. The contact email is optional. And then just put in the zip code that is again associated with the AdSense account you're trying to link. Once that's done, you go back to the AdSense account, go to account, third parties under access and authorization, and you need to accept or approve the ad manager connection request here. And it then should say active. The next thing you need to do is just set up the ad units you're going to run for that website. Make sure you put in the name of the domain in your naming convention so it's easier for you to manage and identify them. And it will also make it a lot easier for you to target in the line items later. Here's the link on how to create or set up ad units in Google Ad Manager. The next thing you need to do is set up an order and line items for AdSense. The line item type will now be AdSense. Target the sizes. And make sure that the web property alias here that you choose is the AdSense account that you just linked earlier. So if you have multiple AdSense accounts linked, 
it will show up here in the drop down under web property alias. So depending on which account you choose, that's the AdSense account that will run on dynamic allocation because your line item type is AdSense. You, make sure you check out my other video on Google Ad Manager line item types right here. Once you're all set, make sure you target the right inventory for the website. And this is why naming convention here is very important that you include the name of the domain. So choose those ad units, save. You then go to the creatives tab and click new creative. Now, where will this tag or creative come from? Now, there are two options here on where or how you would implement the creative or tag. You can select the ad unit name or you can import the ad unit code snippet right here. Now, because we have linked this AdSense account earlier, when you go to ads overview by ad units, if you already created or set up the ad units that you're going to use here, Google Ad Manager will automatically be able to detect them and you can just choose one accordingly and select to show code snippet if needed. So in terms of the workflow, this tells you that it is more efficient if you set up the ad units from AdSense already before you even begin the process of linking and setting up orders line items in Google Ad Manager. So once you have all of them right here under by ad unit, then it's easier for you to just choose them from the drop down here. Once all set, go ahead and click on save. Then go ahead and create as many line items as needed and approve your order once done. Now the question here is, what if you don't have linked accounts enabled as an option on your Google Ad Manager account? Unfortunately, Google has already discontinued this option for most publishers, and they have a specific threshold or qualification before they can enable this. Another option for you is to work with a Google certified publishing partner like Monetize More, and they can help you get this option enabled given, of course, that you pass their screening process. So if you don't have linked accounts and you're not qualified to partner with Monetize More either, I would highly recommend work on growing your traffic, improving your site, and eventually, once you're qualified, go ahead and join them. But in the meantime, if you don't have this, now as an alternative, you can run the AdSense tags on price priority or sponsorship. How does that work? So let's say, for example, you create again an AdSense line item. Now the line item type you can choose is sponsorship. If you don't have any other ad networks to run on your site, because sponsorship again has the highest priority among all these line item types. Or another option is to run it on price priority, but this will require you to optimize your line items based on their real CPM. And here's a tutorial for that. Now, again, no other competitors, no other ad networks, run it on sponsorship, target the sizes, start time, end time, just specify that. You can run it on 100% of impressions and just put CPM estimate in here. Then target the ad units or inventory, save it, and just the same, upload the creative that you generated from AdSense. So you go to the AdSense account and grab the code snippet and upload it in Google Ad Manager behind this line item as your creative. So that's how you can add multiple sites, multiple AdSense accounts in the same ad manager. If this video helped you, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. I make sure I read them and respond to you guys as soon as I can. And thank you all for your comments and suggestions. And I'll see you on the next tutorial.